Okay, so here's the result of uh, putting the um, Nautilex 18.5mm uh, uh, vinyl on. Um, it's been wrapped around the edge of the plywood and stapled. Each staple's been tacked down with a hammer to make sure it's pretty flush. So that's the hatch lid. This is the additional piece of the bow. Slight imperfection there, my fault. Um, the adhesive I used was PL Premium. It took about three tubes to do this. Um, and I, uh, I spread it with a uh, 1 16th U uh, trowel. Um, the edge here is tucked in and trimmed and stapled. The PL uh, was pushed underneath so it's hopefully sticky there. Uh, if I have any peeling issues here I can go over it with contact cement or if I really want to I can um, I can put a uh, I've got a, enough of a gap here that Home Depot and Lowe's they sell a really small and thin uh, angle aluminum that you can trim it out with and uh, prevent any lifting here. But the finished product uh, worked it really well. I ended up having a bunch of bubbling on the main surface here uh, after I had gotten it all tucked under and stapled and I used a rolling pin to try and get that out and honestly that wasn't very success, uh, successful. What I ended up doing was I used, a, um, I used two sheets of plywood and laid it out and on the plywood I put several hundred pounds of dumbbell weights and a bunch of other things um, on top of it. Like even, uh, just about even put the, the freezer on top. Uh, it was kind of a make or break sort of scenario. Having big bubbles on this wasn't going to be cool. I chose the PL Premium because it says that it'll use, it'll adhese um, vinyl and uh, wood and it does it in a really good temperature range. Now I did do this indoors simply because uh, it was one degree in my garage and I don't have heat. Um, but yeah, anyways, good luck. And uh, if you need a hand, uh, don't uh, don't be shy. Still need to put those uh, lift tabs in here. I'm gonna put one here and the other one there. And they just sit in there and pop them up and uh, take them out. Overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It's a nice, tight fit. Um, the only thing I might do later is run a bead of silicone. Uh, obviously, I gotta take the hatch out. Uh, run a bead of silicone on that wood, maybe hit the wood with uh, a bit of waterproof paint just so it lasts a bit longer. Uh, I was concerned about the uh, height of the hatch and the height of the floor um, because it's the vinyl's wrapped here and it sits up a little bit, but it's not even noticeable. I'm not light. I'm uh, Definitely not light, that's for sure. Uh, and it feels really, really good. Nice and sturdy. Plenty of room. That was 5 8 pressure treat apply. I was going to use 3 quarters, but it was all moldy. So I didn't buy it from that, um, that shop. Next step is, uh, I'm going to let it sit here for another 2 or 3 days. Just to make sure everything's set up and, and cured. And then it's uh, going in the boat. Boat's coming out of the garage. And it's going to sit in the driveway for another few days and bought some gas today so hopefully uh, in a week or two it's going to be out in the lake.